Today is a big day. The start of the UTELSAT, let's say, 9B satellite is very, very important for us. It carries, uh, let's say, a laser communication payload from TESAT, our own company, a daughter company. And it will be the first node of our new European data relay satellite system, where we will provide laser communication services to lower flying satellites or unmanned aerial vehicles or others. Today, the satellites are communicating to each other through normal high frequency links. In future, they will be able to communicate with the European Data Relay satellite with optical links. And as you know from home, if you have a fiber at home, you get much better bandwidth and speed. Today, we will be able, or tomorrow, we will be able to provide you with 1.8 gigabit per second connections. For the users, this will mean that uh, today it takes uh, several hours to get Earth's observation data from satellites to ground. And of course, with uh, the EDRS-A node in orbit, we will be bringing that back to minutes. You have to understand, uh, let's say, if uh, you try to point laser beams, let's say, across 45,000 kilometers and, and satellites moving towards each other with 20 times the speed of aircraft moving towards each other, it's quite tricky. And uh, you can compare that we are trying to point from Western Europe to New York and trying to hit with a laser beam a mirror on a car uh, in New York. And uh, you can see it's a very, very precise, uh, let's say, technology. And as such, it's very, very challenging. The first users of the EDRS services will be the Copernicus satellite Sentinel-1 and Sentinel-2, both the radar satellite Sentinel-1 and the optical uh, satellite Sentinel-2. And uh, let's say we expect many other users, uh, also Columbus will be uh, on behalf of ESA one of the users, but also many private users over time will start using this internet in the sky. EDRS users will have many fault applications, of course, for many humanitarian aid topics like disaster monitoring, earthquakes, uh, water floods, all of that, let's say, where, let's say, having the data as soon as possible to get, uh, let's say, support in place is, is vital. Um, other users, of course, are defense, where, let's say, the high amount of data that drones generate with their pictures and their videos need to be brought to the users very, very quickly. And finally, I think, for example, for maritime surveillance, where the topic of piratery is, uh, let's say, a growing concern for everybody. Let's say being able to catch the pirates does need that you have as soon as possible the videos and the pictures of where the pirates are going. Airbus Defence and Space, let's say, is the public-private partnership uh, partner of ESA uh, developing and co-financing the system with ESA. The technologies were developed uh, with the support of the German Space Agency, especially the laser communication terminal was developed in Germany and also Germany is the big supporter of the EDRS system through ESA financing. Of course, let's say there is uh, many, many partners on board. We're talking about uh, 50, approximately 50 European partner companies involved in realizing the system and operating the system over the lifetime. Um, it's really a truly international uh, project where, let's say, which keeps Europe at the cutting edge of technology. So after the launch of this uh, first satellite, creating the first node, we'll of course have to do acceptance tests and start bringing the services as soon as possible to our main clients, uh, European Space Agency and European Commission. Next step will be, let's say, a second satellite is being built and that will be, let's say, available then for extending the services from mid of 2017 onwards. We all hope that, uh, let's say, this new technology will set a, set a global standard and for that, of course, we would need to have a global coverage and ESA is already looking at an extension of the program and let's hope that we will find after this successful start of services many supporters of setting this new innovative high-tech technology with laser communication at its basis all over, let's say, the world. Thank you.